Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the first presentation of the conference last day. Uh, this is uh, Behzad Bamdad Mehrabani. I am a, a PhD candidate in uh, UC Leuven. Um, I hope you already grabbed your coffee and you do not feel sleepy. Um, in, uh, in this uh, today, uh, I'm going to present you a part of my uh, PhD research in which uh, I collaborated with uh, Jakub uh, and uh, with my supervisor, Professor uh, Luca Escambi, and uh, with uh, Professor Mikey Eslender from uh, TU Delft. Uh, in this work, we work on the uh, simulation-based dynamic system optimal uh, traffic assignment algorithm for SOMO. So let's uh, start with the research uh, background. Uh, as you know, uh, wardrop principles are among the most important principles in uh, the traffic assignment problem. Uh, these uh, principles uh, include uh, the user equilibrium, in which uh, each user tries to minimize uh, its own uh, travel time, while in the second principle, uh, the system optimal, uh, the whole system uh, travel time uh, should be minimized. Uh, in the literature, uh, several methods um, are proposed in order to solve the traffic assignment uh, problem uh, based on uh, those uh, principles. Uh, we can um, broadly cl classify these uh, methods into two categories, which are the analytical based model and the simulation based models. Uh, as we are in the SOMO user conference, let's uh, talk about more uh, about the uh, simulation-based uh, traffic assignment uh, solution. Uh, first of all, I should point it out that uh, in the literature, many studies uh, have uh, proved that um, the performance of the simulation-based uh, methods uh, are better than the uh, analytical-based uh, uh, methods. Um, secondly, uh, here we have uh, a list of most well-known uh, micro and meso uh, traffic simulators. Uh, and as you can see, uh, most of them um, do not provide the system optimal traffic assignment. Uh, also, uh, for example, SOMO itself, uh, it uh, provides the dynamic user equilibrium assignment and not uh, the uh, dynamic system optimal uh, assignment. Uh, therefore, the objective of our research is uh, to propose a simulation-based dynamic uh, system optimal traffic assignment algorithm in which uh, we implement a new swapping algorithm. Uh, also, we implement a new uh, convergence um, criteria. Uh, besides, uh, in order to shift from user equilibrium to system optimal, uh, we implement uh, a new surrogate model of uh, marginal uh, travel times. Uh, also, I should uh, point it out that uh, this algorithm can be applied both on the micro and meso uh, simulations in uh, SOMO. Then uh, it's time to speak about uh, the methodology itself. Uh, here we have uh, the general framework uh, of uh, our algorithm. Uh, this algorithm is uh, based on the dual iterate tool in SOMO. Uh, as you may know, uh, dual iterate is the dynamic uh, user equilibrium tool in SOMO. Uh, the differences between uh, our algorithm and dual iterate is that uh, in this algorithm, we replace uh, the travel times by marginal travel times. Um, this algorithm uh, consists of two parts. The first part is the pass selection procedure, and the second part is the dynamic uh, network loading uh, procedure. So uh, let's have a look at uh, this framework. Uh, first, uh, we would have the road network file and the travel demand file. And the problem is uh, stated as the assignment of the travel demand uh, to the road network file. Uh, then at uh, each uh, iteration, based on the uh, marginal travel times that uh, are imported from uh, previous iteration, 
a routing algorithm, uh, for example, Dikestra, is uh, applied to the road network to determine, uh, determine the K shortest pass for each vehicle. After that, we can uh, form the pass set uh, of each uh, vehicle. Uh, next, a road choice model, for example, Logit, is applied to select uh, a pass among, uh, alternative, uh, among, among available alternatives. Uh, then um, a swapping algorithm is uh, implemented uh, to reassign a fraction of vehicles uh, at each uh, iteration. And by using a swapping algorithm, uh, not all vehicles uh, change uh, their route necessarily during uh, successive iteration, which uh, ensures the improvement of selected uh, paths over iterations. Um, after the first part, uh, we have the dynamic um, network loading by SOMO. Um, here, the, the selected paths of each vehicle are uh, imported into the SOMO, and SOMO run the simulation. And uh, at the end of each simulation, it uh, writes the, each link's volume and uh, travel times. Uh, then um, we uh, check a convergence criteria, and, and this uh, process uh, will uh, perform uh, iteratively. And uh, by performing such a process uh, iteratively, uh, the total uh, travel time of the network uh, will be uh, minimized. Uh, so let's uh, talk about uh, some uh, most important uh, aspect of the algorithm. Here is the uh, road choice model that we use. Uh, it's a classical uh, logit model. Uh, I do not go into detail uh, about this model, but, but uh, please uh, note that as we are using a road choice model, uh, it means that uh, our solution algorithm will uh, leads to uh, the probabilistic uh, system optimal and not deterministic, but uh, it's possible to uh, shift uh, from uh, probabilistic to deterministic in winning the same framework but by uh, changing uh, some uh, by changing relevant um, uh, options uh, in uh, dual iterate i mean in this in this algorithm um, and the most important point uh, of our uh, algorithm is the calculation of uh, marginal travel times because in order to shift from uh, user equilibrium to system optimal, we should uh, replace the travel times by marginal travel times. Uh, generally, we have uh, two approach to calculate the marginal travel times, uh, which are the global approximation and the local approximation. The global approximation has more accuracy, but it's, uh, it is uh, computationally expensive. Uh, while the local approximation is uh, less accurate, but it's, it's not uh, computationally expensive. So um, as, as we want to work on the uh, medium and large scale uh, networks, uh, we try the local approximation. And here is the formulation of the marginal, uh, of the surrogate model of the marginal travel times. Uh, I do not go into detail, but uh, please let me know if you have uh, any uh, question after my presentation. And um, here uh, we have some information about the swapping algorithm. Uh, the core idea of the swapping algorithm is that uh, not all vehicles should uh, necessarily change their route uh, in each iteration. Uh, instead, only a fraction of vehicles uh, are in the reassignment uh, process. In the literature, the most, uh, the, the commonly used uh, swapping algorithm is the method of successive average, uh, but uh, it has uh, many drawbacks. So uh, we try to develop a new swapping algorithm for um, uh, a new swapping algorithm by modifying the step size of the method of successive average. Again, I do not go into detail, but the main differences between uh, the method of successive average and um, uh, our uh, swapping algorithm, which is called uh, PSwap, um, is that uh, the, the step size uh, are different in the uh, PSwap uh, algorithm. And uh, about the convergence uh, criteria, um, 
you know, as, as there is no uh, closed form for the simulation-based solution of the uh, traffic assignment problem, it is uh, impossible to mathematically improve uh, to, to mathematically prove the convergence of the algorithm. Uh, so, uh, but, but we can find some uh, good points to terminate uh, the algorithm. Uh, here we use the relative uh, standard deviation uh, of average travel time as the convergence criteria. Uh, but why? Because uh, in the equilibrium condition, no driver uh, can reduce uh, its own uh, travel time by shifting to another route. Uh, so when the standard deviation of uh, average travel times between uh, successive uh, iterations is low, uh, it uh, implies that all remaining uh, alternatives uh, have uh, almost the same uh, travel time. So the equilibrium criteria is uh, basically uh, fulfilled. And uh, we apply our methodology to few test networks. Uh, let's uh, talk about uh, our test cases. Uh, we test our, our algorithm on, on three networks. First, uh, a brace-like network, and then on a random network, and uh, finally on, the, on the Sioux Falls uh, road network. For each network, four scenarios are simulated which are the first a simulation-based dynamic system optimal with a p-swap swapping algorithm. Second, the dynamic system optimal with a method of successive average uh, or in short MSA. And the third uh, on the a user, a dynamic user equilibrium with p-swap. And uh, lastly, dynamic user equilibrium with uh, MSA. Uh, here are the results uh, of the brace-like network. Uh, as you can uh, see, uh, there is about uh, 50 uh, 50 percent um, uh, differences between the total uh, travel times uh, in this uh, system optimal scenarios uh, between the the p swap and method of successive average. Also, uh, there is uh, about uh, 16 percent. Uh, improvement of uh, uh, system optimal over user equilibrium if we have, um, if we use the method of successive average as our swapping algorithm. And uh, this amount is uh, equal to about uh, 4% if uh, we uh, use the P swap uh, swapping algorithm. And uh, here is the results of uh, the um, uh, random network. Uh, again, we have uh, about 8% um, uh, differences between the um, total travel times. Uh, I mean, the um, tra total travel time in, when we, in the system optimal scenario when we use the p-swap uh, is 8% lower than uh, the MSA. Uh, this amount is equal to about 10% uh, for the user equilibrium scenarios. Uh, also, the um, system optimal shows uh, about 5% improvement over user equilibrium uh, in case we use the uh, MSA. Uh, and also it shows about 2% uh, improvement over uh, user equilibrium in case we use the uh, p-swap uh, algorithm. And lastly, uh, in our, uh, here is the results of our large scale uh, network, which is the Sui Falls. Uh, we saw about 12% uh, difference in uh, total travel time between p-swap and uh, MSA in the system optimal scenarios. This amount is uh, equal to 4% for user equilibrium scenarios. Also, um, there is a 5%, um, uh, yeah, there is a 5% difference between system optimal and user equilibrium uh, if we use um, the method of successive average. And uh, there, is, uh, this, uh, there is about 12% uh, differences between system optimal and user equilibrium for the uh, p-swap uh, algorithm. And uh, finally, let's uh, talk about uh, the conclusion and the future research uh, directions. 
in this work, we propose um, a dynamic system optimal traffic assignment algorithm for SOMO. A surrogate model of uh, marginal travel time is developed. Also, we work on a new uh, swapping algorithm. And the, the results of the simulations uh, shows that uh, the shows that the MSA is uh, dominated uh, by uh, the P swap in all of the scenarios. Also, we observe uh, remarkable uh, decreases uh, in the, the total travel time when uh, vehicles follow the system optimal in comparison with the user equilibrium. Uh, which is uh, which is not uh, that much uh, surprising. Also, uh, you can um, uh, find this uh, algorithm uh, by uh, by setting the marginal uh, travel uh, marginal uh, cost uh, options in, in uh, dual trade, which is available in uh, Sumo GitHub. Uh, also, I have some uh, modern remarks. If you would like to use um, this algorithm. Uh, first, uh, please uh, note that the number of teleporting vehicles has a considerable impact on the results of the algorithm. So uh, try to work on some networks uh, which has uh, a low uh, teleporting vehicles. Also, uh, as I said before, it's possible to shift from um, uh, probabilistic to deterministic by uh, changing uh, some settings. Uh, in the algorithm. Uh, also, if, if you use this algorithm and uh, come up uh, with um, some uh, unrealistic results, it might be due to the overestimation of the uh, marginal uh, travel times. So uh, I recommend to remove uh, the second term of the uh, marginal travel time equation uh, by, by, by changing some settings. Also about the future uh, research, we would like to work on the global approximation of uh, marginal travel times uh, rather than the um, uh, local uh, approximations. And uh, thank you very much for uh, your attention. And uh, I'm interested to hear your comments and questions. You can also contact me uh, by email. And also, I would like to have a special thanks to Jakub because he helps me a lot during uh, conducting uh, uh, this research. Yeah, thank you.